Hey guys, this is Jamin with PC Monkey, uh, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, right now we have an HP laptop. It's an HP 15-BS. Uh, B as in boy, S as in Sam. Uh, series computer. The exact model number is a 15BS212WM. Uh, but this should help you with any uh, 15 uh, and, and more specifically 15-BS model. We're going to show you today how to replace your battery, your DVD drive, your hard drive, and your RAM. And we only say battery and hard drive because we have to take them out anyway to get to the hard drive and RAM, so may as well include it in the title. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get into this now. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We get back to you at least a couple times a day. Also, make sure to check out the frequently asked questions and the related video links in the description. That should help you uh, if you get stuck and other people have gotten stuck there before. So first thing you want to do, uh, get a, a, a screwdriver. We're going to go around and take the screws out of the bottom. This one doesn't have a ton. It's kind of nice. So it's got two here, one here kind of at an angle, and then one here holding down your DVD drive. So we'll take out these three main ones first. Helps to have a uh, magnetized screwdriver. And as you can see, I'm doing this on a static pad so as not to damage the, the computer when I'm going into it. Okay, so the DVD drive has been unscrewed. I like using my little flat metal pry tool. Just slide it in there, slide the DVD drive out. So that's as simply as you would replace this if this ever broke. Just unscrew that screw, slide this out, slide the new one in. There are no screws hidden under here, so that's nice. As far as the battery, um, slide this to unlock, and then you slide this lever here to pull it out. And it comes out like that. Uh, there are two screws under the battery. We'll take those out. So far, so good. Now the tricky part to this model that I'm using, perhaps you have the same one. If you check out these little rubber feet here, I'll show you. I've already taken out these three screws. I left one in to show you. I have a little flathead screwdriver here. I'm gonna gently, let me zoom in so you can see this. So I have already taken out these three screws, but if you notice when I pry this little foot up, this little rubber foot, there's a screw under there. So be careful with these hidden screws under these rubber feet. You'll be pulling on this bottom case all day trying to get it off and you'll actually break it because they've hidden screws underneath those feet. So I just pop up that corner, take the screw out and put it back down. You don't want to keep pulling these up and, and put them down because they lose their stick after a while. So I just pulled up a corner, unscrewed it, and put it back down safe. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting into this. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna take my metal pry tool here. I'm gonna go around the edge, and I'm gonna pry this up gently. I'm just can't let me make sure I zoom out for you. I'm going to go around and gently just pry up. Nice and slow, no rush. Laptops are tough because you can muscle everything, but you really got to try not to because um, you can damage it. All right, so there's your bottom case that comes off. So this is the inside of your computer. As you can see right here, this is where the DVD drive slid in, connected there. Uh, this is your hard drive, and this is your RAM slot. This model only has one RAM slot. Let me zoom in so you can see how to remove these things. Now if you notice your RAM, if you've gone into computers before uh, laptops, you know how these things are usually kept in. There's two spring-loaded arms here. And, it, and it's spring-loaded and it holds it in. So all you've got to do to remove your RAM is to slide these arms away and the RAM just pops up. And then you slide it out, like that. If you need to know which kind of RAM you need for your computer, let's say you're upgrading um, or you're replacing bad RAM, 
Uh, check out the video link in, in the description and it'll show you how to make sure you're having the same one. Keep in mind there's a long end and a short end port so it, it can only go in one way. I, I, I can't put it in that way. So you slide it back in, make sure it's in there snug and then push down to secure it. And it snaps right in. So the RAM's pretty easy. The hard drive is over here. So the hard drive is you held in by a caddy as we see here and this caddy only has one screw. So we'll go ahead and remove this screw to loosen our hard drive. Now it just slides back. Just like that. So this metal frame here, that's your hard drive caddy. Some go all the way around, some go all the way down, some completely cover it. This hard drive caddy easy. It's just these two screws and this bracket comes off. So you would take out your old hard drive, again if it's bad or if you're upgrading, you would put the new hard drive and keep the orientation the same. So this hard drive comes out of the caddy like this, put the new one back in. Don't put the new one back one like this. Because this has a long port and a short port, just like the RAM to fit in. This is a 2.5 inch SATA, S-A-T-A -A hard drive. Uh, make sure you get the same one uh, to put back in your computer. Now to put it back in, oops, went under it. Just gonna slide it into the port. Goes down snug. Just replace that screw. And that is pretty easy. It's a pretty easy computer to replace your RAM and, and your hard drive. If you need help after replacing your hard drive, um, if you put a new hard drive in, you're gonna have to install Windows on it. So if you need help doing that, check out the video link in the description. And that'll show you how to uh, install Windows on a new hard drive. So you snap all these things back down, slide your DVD drive in, and then you just start replacing your screws. So remember we had this one over here, this one at an angle up front. This one off to the right. The one in the middle to hold down the DVD drive. And then the two up top under where the battery goes. The battery just slides in. Now remember we had these four pesky ones underneath the feet. So I'm just gonna gently pop up a corner, put these screws in there. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna put that foot back down. Go all the way around doing that. I just like that better instead of taking the rubber thing off entirely. You do that a few times and uh, it loses its ability to stick really well. All right, so that's how you would upgrade or replace your hard drive, your RAM, and then uh, as a side note, that's how you would access your DVD drive and your battery on HP 15 dash BS model laptop. So if this was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.